Hi, Greg Hartman for VFDs.com. Today we're going to learn basic programming of the Mitsubishi F700 series variable frequency drives and we'll use the advanced PU07 programmer. So we have here our Mitsubishi F700 series drive. The F700 is a good general purpose drive for use in all sorts of applications such as fans and pumps and industrial processes. This is a 200 volt series drive, so we've wired it to 230 volt three phase input. It's also rated for 34 amps. Today we're going to learn how to program it with the advanced programmer, so I'm simply going to squeeze in on these tabs and remove the standard programmer that comes with the drive, and I'm going to plug in the PU07 advanced programmer. The advanced programmer is very economical and has a number of features that I think you'll like. We press hand, that puts us in the hand mode and allows this programmer to be in charge of the drive and allows us to program the drive. Now the first thing you should program under drive is the volts per hertz. So let's do that. The voltage is parameter 19, so I simply push parameter set, 19, read, and it's set for 60. I made a little mistake there, that's parameter 18. Let's go to parameter set 19 and read. And there it is. It's set for 230 volts. My motor happens to be 208 volts, so I'm going to type in 208 and then I'm going to push right. You'll notice that it flashes 208 volts and it says completed, letting us know that that parameter has been changed. The next thing I'll change is the frequency. So I push parameter set 3 and read and this is the motor rated frequency. In this case it says 60 Hertz and that is the rating on the nameplate of my motor so I will leave that as it is. Now let's cover the first 10 parameters which are the basic parameters that you're going to want to set. We hit parameter set, 1, read. This is your maximum frequency. The maximum frequency is set at 60 Hertz. Maybe I don't want my motor to go that fast so I'm going to change it to 58 Hertz and push right. Now it will not allow the motor to go faster than 58 Hertz. Now I can just push shift and it will go to the next parameter, parameter 2. This is set for 12 Hertz and that's about 20 percent speed. I'm okay with that. We press shift one more time. This is the frequency that we looked at earlier and we press shift again we get to preset frequency F4. Parameters 4, 5, and six are preset frequencies that will allow you to run at certain predetermined frequencies if that's the way you want to run the drive. Ordinarily we want to have an analog input that will allow us to change the speed of the drive. So let's press shift one more time and we have our acceleration time. It's set for 44 seconds. I want it to go a little quicker than that so I'm going to set it for 25. 25, right, sets the acceleration time for 25 seconds. Now it will go from 0 to 60 Hertz in 25 seconds. Pressing shift again we get to parameter 8. It's set for 90 seconds. I think we can go a little quicker than that. Let's set that for 45 seconds. Typically the deceleration time is slower than the acceleration time. And finally we have parameter 9. Parameter 9 is the full load amps of the motor nameplate. My motor nameplate says that it is 24 amps, so I will type 24 and write, and this will now protect my motor at its rated current of 24 amps. Now I'm going to change to auto mode. When I press auto mode, it transfers control to the digital inputs and the analog inputs into my drive. I have a switch wired up, and we've wired this switch between STF, that is start forward, and common. So when we turn the switch on, it shorts, start forward and common. It tells us that we have a start forward command. You can see the frequency ramping up. So we're in auto mode, we're running in forward direction, we have a start forward command, and we are running at 12 hertz. Now if I push shift here while we're monitoring the drive, it shows me the amps. Press shift again, and we see the volts. Press shift again, it shows me my alarm history. Shift again gives me some others if those were programmed. And one more time and we get to a smaller display which gives me hertz, amps, and volts on the same screen. This can be a very handy screen to look at. And I press shift one more time and we're right back 
to the 12 hertz running frequency that we are requesting from the drive. So that's it, basic programming on the Mitsubishi F700 series drives. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and see our other educational videos. Feel free to leave comments and suggestions for other topics that you'd like to see. And please visit our website at vfds.com to see a wide selection of variable frequency drives and VFD accessories.